Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to partition your hard drive using Windows Vista. Now, if you're in XP, there's no um, way you can partition your hard drive without using a third party app. So, if you're in XP, this video is no use to you whatsoever. So, I recommend just changing the video to do something. But if you're in Windows Vista or Windows 7, then stay tuned. Basically, um, if you don't know what a partition is, it's basically when you take a hard drive and for some reason my computer is being gay okay so you take one solid hard drive that you have and you split up into different sec sections so I have a 640 gig hard drive and it's split into three sections here and they're all different sizes so this is my main hard drive with the total size of 552 gigs Then I have a factory image about 13 15 gigs rounded and then I have a backup partition for myself from my my files so in my previous video I showed you guys how to use the Windows easy transfer tool to back up your files but if you don't have an external hard drive where you can save those backups to well this is how you create a separate partition so your files can be safe so first thing I'm gonna, I'm gonna to start right click on computer go to manage when USC comes up hit continue Then the, the, your computer management should come up. Well, that's what it's called. You want to navigate down here to where it says disk management. Click on it. And it's going to load all the drives and everything on your system right here. Now, from here, depending on how your hard drive is already set up, you might have just one solid bar going straight across. Or as you see, I'm, I have one drive and it's broken apart into three different partitions. You can see the little nudge right here. So, all you need to do to partition, you want to right click on your biggest partition, or if you only have one partition, you just want to right click on it and hit shrink volume. Then it's basically going to verify how much space you're, you're able to shrink. So for some reason, I'm not able to shrink any um, anymore because I, I think I have um, a lot of too many partitions. But I don't think that's the reason why. It's because every time I partition, I always partition partition a 30 gigabyte partition if this comes up for you I'm really not sure how you fix this but you can get a third party app and um, use that to partition and it usually works but from here you wanna go on Google or um, you're gonna bust out your calculator because you're gonna need to convert gigabytes to megabytes so if you don't know when 1024 megabytes equals 1 gig so you want to just basically times that by how many gigs you want so just open up your calculator or go to google type in mb to gb or gb to mb and it's basically going to calculate for you then you just type the value in here and if the value is too large for your hard drive it's going to give you like an error sound or something as you're typing but yeah and it's going to show you how much space you have available up here to shrink so I'm gonna be in range of that. Usually it picks up like half your hard drive, so you, it's recommending you shrink, like split your hard drive into two equal pieces. But I really don't recommend that. I recommend at least a 30 gig partition for your backups. So this is basically how you partition a hard drive in Windows Vista. Now it's very very short and simple, and yeah, there's no third party apps involved. I hope this tip helped you guys. Thanks for watching.